Hi, so what I'm going to try out today is I've seen quite a few people talk about the fact that they use a heating pad. Uh, one for their lizards and things like that, which is this one. And one that you would use for coffee, which is this one. To try and get the bubbles out of resin when it's mixed or prior to mixing. So I thought I would have a go. So I've got myself a lizard pad. I've got this one. This is you can have on a timer and you can set the temperature as well for it so what i'll do is i will mix up some resin and then i will put it onto these one at a time and see if firstly they work and if they do work which one's the best okay so i've got part a and part b on this lizard warming mat and it actually doesn't get too hot it's quite it's just really above slightly above room temperature and as you can see now i've mixed the resin it is full of bubbles and the bubbles are starting to come to the top Although what I do find is with this one that the micro bubbles did actually stay in it. But it would be useful for heating your resin through. Okay, so I've set this up now and I've got a clock beside it because I'm going to do this in fast forward. I've got it on its highest temperature and I've mixed this resin up really vigorously. As you can see, there's lots of bubbles throughout it. Now, this pad is getting quite hot. I've put a bit of paper underneath it because uh, I don't want to get any resin on it. It's got two temperature settings, a one and a two. One is 60 degrees and two is 40 degrees. But I'm going to try it at the 60 degrees first to see what happens. So here we go. So as you'll see in a minute, the bubbles are starting to come up to the top. It almost looks like a fizzy drink in, in fast forward. But I will have to say this got really, really hot. It got to 60 degrees, which is burny hot, to be perfectly honest. But this is on the hottest level anyway. OK, so it's had five minutes now. And I think it actually there has been quite a dramatic reduction in bubbles there. Let me just pop those that are on the top. The only thing with my concern is that this is going to overheat the resin and make it cure really, really quickly. As you can see, there is a real reduction in bubbles, but there's still quite a few micro bubbles in there. So I'm going to take that one off and I'm going to leave it to the side to cool down. And now I'm going to do one on the second temperature, which is the cooler temperature, which is 40 degrees. Part that, and I'll give that five minutes as well. So I'm using my digital clock this time. Now, as you can see, this is still moving and the bubbles are still coming to the top, but it's not getting nowhere near as hot as it did last time, thankfully, because <laughs> it was so hot, but it is still clearing the bubbles. Okay, so this has now had five minutes. It is actually quite, still quite warm. It's nowhere near as warm as this first one. So I'm going to pop a few bubbles on the top. And actually that has cleared out quite a lot of the bubbles, if you can see there. There is still some micro bubbles left in there. Now this one, 10 minutes ago it was liquid. Okay, so just to let you know <laughs> that that didn't do that any favours whatsoever. And that has now completely cured up in that pot. Um, and it's unworkable. I mean, it was unworkable within the five minutes. So I definitely wouldn't recommend that. I definitely wouldn't recommend this uh, method on high temperature without a shadow of a doubt. So let's see how this one gets on after a few minutes. My advice would be this one hasn't actually set up. It is a little bit thicker. It has speeded it up a little bit. And there are still a few bubbles in there. Um, as you can see, they're coming up now. But it is still workable. It did get rid of quite a lot of bubbles. Because I did mix these up really quite vigorously. And uh, to ensure that they were full of bubbles. I wouldn't normally mix them up quite as vigorous as that. And certainly wouldn't put that many bubbles in my work. But I think... Overall, if I was going to use one, I would use this one on the lower temperature and perhaps only for three minutes 
with uh, some success and there we go if you have a look in there now you can see that that is still got micro bubbles in it but they're nowhere near as many as it was when i first started so it has got rid of quite a few the heat mat the lizard heat mat really is only suitable on a really cold day if you want to warm your bottle of resin up slightly as it didn't thicken up I poured it into my little Father Christmas mould that I made. If you want to see how I make that, then check the video in the links. And actually, it's come out really quite bubble-free. The only bubble that's come up is the one on his where his nose uh, is, and that's probably from pouring it. And I brushed this with mica powder, as I normally do. Like I can release more bubbles because there'll be some in his eyes and nose in the mould because I just poured it in really quickly. But overall, actually, I'm really quite surprised how few bubbles there is and how clear it is. If I'd have taken a bit more care pouring this in, I'm sure there wouldn't have been any bubbles. So I think that this is a kind of okay success. I do these things so you don't have to. Hope you've enjoyed it.